this Paul Rosenzweig, who, who served as senior counsel to independent counsel Ken Starr during the Whitewater investigation. He's currently a senior fellow at the R Street Institute. So we've got a lot to talk to you about, about how that's really hanging over this current situation. But first to you, you know, all right, subpoenas getting served up. Obviously, the Democrats want to see every single word of this mm -hmm. thing. They don't want the redactions. Um, can you just speak a little bit to what the Democrats are now trying to do and how tensions are? Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it became very clear with the exchange between Nita Lowy this morning and uh, the attorney general that there is no immediate intention at the Department of Justice to give even Congress the full report, the unredacted report. And so that obviously caused some, some, some worry um, among Democrats, and that is why they, they clearly are taking the next step. And look, this is and you will speak to this, far different from what we did, what we saw with the Star Report. And, there, and there's a reason for it, and that is because this is a different statute. This is a special counsel. He is somebody who uh, is, is falling under the purview, or did fall under the purview of the Justice Department, mm -hmm. and he was appointed with very specific guidelines. And the, and the Department of Justice, the Attorney General, has a lot of leeway on who sees what and for what purpose. I mean, obviously... During the the you know Ken Starr investigation, I mean members of Congress got got all of that right, and so that is what that that precedent was set. And 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 Mr. Barr was very clear today in saying, no, you will not be seeing those details. He mentioned the color coded redactions, um, and specifically won't be seeing the grand jury information. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of of what's happening now, and why can't Congress get it all? Well, that's a great question, and I think the answer is Congress could, if Barr wanted to let them have it. Exactly. Uh, it, it the choice that he's making is a conscious choice. He could go to court to ask for, for authority to release it. That's what happened in the Starr investigation. That's what happened in the Jaworski investigation. There's even a provision of law that allows for the disclosure in cases of intelligence and foreign, foreign influence kinds of things without the intervention of a court at all. It's already in the statute. And so he could make a disclosure, for example, to uh, Congressman Schiff and Congressman Nunez as part of the uh, international, uh, in, uh, the Intelligence Committee investigation uh, if he wanted to. But, you know, he has chosen not to. Uh, the interesting question is going to be why and whether or not this is uh, consciously hiding something. What about the piece, though? He was definitive on the no on the grand jury information, but also, and he was quite transparent, I think, for much of the morning, yeah. saying, I'll do X, Y, and Z. But when he was specifically asked as to whether or not the White House has been briefed or would be briefed, he, he tap danced. He tap danced. Well, I mean, it's actually a very interesting contrast because in his letter, he said that the president had publicly said he wasn't going to claim privilege, so I'm not going to give them the report yeah. in order to conduct a review. So how do you square that? What he said uh, you know, I, today? I think something's changed in the intervening time. As uh, it seems... What, what could uh, it yeah, be? Well, it seems the president's attitude has changed as well, and so maybe the president has had a chance to read the entire report and doesn't think it's as good for him as he liked it when, when it was just a four-page summary. Well, that would be... I mean, is that, that a possibility? That would be a big headline if the yeah. president yeah. was able to read it. Yeah. I don't, uh, is that a possibility? I, well, anything's possible. Certainly, Barr has every authority to share it with the president if he wants. He works for the president. Um, and the fact that he won't know is an easy answer. Yeah. No is a very short, easy answer. Has the president he seen didn't it? No. Say no. He won't say that. And he did say that two and a half weeks ago. Mm. That's noteworthy. That's noteworthy. Mm -hmm. What else from this morning watching your biggest takeaway? Well, the fact that, uh, that B the bar revealed that he and his team asked Robert Mueller if they would like to coordinate uh, or consult on the letter that he wrote, that four-page letter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Robert Mueller said no. He declined to have anything to do with it, which I think says a lot about... Daylight. Robert Mueller's, uh, well, daylight, but also his understanding of how this was going to be perceived. And that is, he's, he, Bill, uh, Bill Barr, is a political appointee, that this was going to be a political letter. And also, why would he help in summarizing a summary that Mueller spent so long doing? Just put out his own summary. Sure. Um, and so he said, I did my job. I tried, tried to stay as apolitical as possible. I'm out. This is your deal. Okay. Um... Paul and Dana, thank, thank you. you so much. Good to see you.